first thing we do is ask somebody to set a quit date. And again, we recommend setting that quit date no more than two weeks out from the time you decide you want to quit. So you have, you know, don't have much time to change your mind or convince yourself you don't want to quit. And then you want to think about putting a plan in place for how to quit. And that's picking a strategy. That may be you're going to quit cold turkey, you're going to taper off, you're going to use the nicotine replacement, um, over-the-counter or prescription. Um, maybe you want to look for some type of support group or smoking cessation class. You may want to log on to a chat group or talk, call a telephone quit line. Um, but do that bef you know, before your quit date so you have kind of some information to help you deal with quitting. Then you're going to want to, on that quit date, you're going to want to make sure you throw out all cigarettes and ashtrays and lighters, anything that reminds you of smoking. You want to have a plan in place for how to fight the urges. Again, one of the things we recommend is using the four D's, and that's to delay for 10 minutes. Um, that urge to smoke is going to pass. No matter how strong it feels, it will pass. If you just delay 10 minutes, it may be gone. If it's not gone, then delay 10 more minutes. Also recommend that you do some deep breathing. Really kind of use that as a relaxation exercise and visual image of blowing the bad air out and you know, letting the clean air fill your lungs. Um, the third D would be to drink. We re recommend that you drink water and drink it in slowly so that your mouth is having something to do. And then to do something else when that urge comes. And that may be take a walk, maybe stretch, maybe call a friend. Um, 